Um, now I'd like to welcome Dr. Raju uh, to uh, present his um, incredible work on enhancing skill sets and retaining staff by certification for techs and nurses. Thank you, Dr. Raju. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Dr. Chuck. And thank you, Dr. Peterson. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So during the last uh, 50 years, endoscopy has steadily replaced uh, surgery on many fronts. And as in this meeting, we have seen so many exciting developments. And uh, as we celebrate these achievements, it's important for us to pause and reflect on the team. I see some weaknesses happening in our team structure. Unless we address those, we will not be able to move on with the same speed. So let me talk about two important aspects. Are we able to retain highly qualified staff members in our endoscopy units, nurses and technicians? And uh, let us look at this interesting report from the University of North Carolina, Endoscopy Center Staffing. And uh, on the face of it, you will give A plus, excellent recruitment and retention. And if you go behind the scenes, you'll be shocked to see this. 19 recruited, 14 left within two years. Their median endoscopy experience of a nurse was less than two years. That had certainly impacted on several aspects of their endoscopy operation. This is not just uh, unique to this center. At my own institution, we face the same problem, and I continue to hear problems from other centers as well. Just last month, I heard that one university center had to close two of their rooms because they did not have staff. Another problem is, as we lose these people, we don't have a pipeline, pipeline of trained technicians and nurses that we could recruit. Let me show you something. Here is the data of a survey that we conducted as part of the Texas Interventional Endoscopy Group annual meeting, nearly 100 nurses participated, and when we surveyed them, they shared that majority of them have had no prior training in endoscopy, and they were not certified either. If you ask them, they were given anywhere between two weeks to six weeks of training and were left alone to fend for themselves. With all the advances that we have seen, they are not going to stick on unless we give them proper training so that they can enjoy the ride with us. So the concept of hiring, training, and then letting them work has not worked for us. Instead, we should shift gears and say, let us invest our resources to train them first before they come into the endoscopy unit so that they're ready to work. So with this in mind, way back in 2004, 15, I made an elevator pitch to the Chancellor of the Houston Community Colleges to start an endoscopy tech training program. Over the last seven years, several of us from the Texas Medical Center worked together, went through several steps, and created the first endoscopy tech training program in Texas. And the course consisted of 35 credit hours covering different aspects that we felt they should learn before they came in to assist us. Because we did not have access to course material from anywhere else, we took, up, took it upon ourselves to develop the entire learning material with the help of an educator, Ms. Sanji Suresh, who taught science and math for high school students, 
and Ms. Angela Deal, a medical illustrator, to develop richly illustrated learning material for high school students to learn what we want them to learn without wasting money and at ease. I want to take a moment to thank my institution for funding this whole operation. In addition, we created and developed videos of the entire learning material so that the students could watch and then use them for flipped classroom approach to learning when they went to attend a course. This is where they started. This is a, the state-of-the-art Houston Community College. Two years back, they started, the, the first batch started for the level one certification and level two certification. And it's interesting to note that all the students were fully employed, working somewhere else, and came to the night school twice a week for cognitive aspects of endoscopy, and also learned hands-on training in a simulation lab, as well as going to various endoscopy centers for supervised training. I'm excited to share with you 12 students graduated from this program last year. Interesting to note that all of them signed up for jobs even before they graduated. And we, were, we are very fortunate to recruit four of the graduates. How are they doing? This is a complex EMR that I performed just four weeks back, assisted by Ms. Dang, one of the graduates, and she did the job flawlessly. She prepared and anticipated various steps, was ready and able to change the electrosurgery settings without any anxiety, and also helped me close the defect. How are we going to scale up the training? Because we all need these technicians. Currently, it takes one year, and we are exploring the possibility of partnering with Texas Workforce Development. And for, this, for the sake of anybody here who is interested, every state has funding mechanism for workforce development. And that is available for us to use so, and as part of this, you can actually develop students that come out of the training within three months. So that's something that's uh, in the works. We are also exploring the possibility of working with an Aldean high school district and incorporate the program as part of the high school education so that when they come out, they come out with a dual certification and they're ready to work. I want to pause and I want to thank our leadership for taking several initiatives to help us. First, we have celebrated eight years of endoscopy, ASG. Two years back, the governing board signed off on creating membership for the technicians. All my technicians have joined as associate members and I want to ask you to support your technicians to join as associate members. They will benefit because it gives them the recognition that they need and they can also have access to the entire learning material that we gave it to the community college that is also housed on GI LEAP at ASGE. And one more step that we have taken is create a certificate. A question bank was prepared, reviewed by experts, and four pilot tests were deployed. Our goal is to deploy the certificate as part of the ASC endoscopy tech certificate later this year. What is this going to benefit the technicians or your endoscopy units? Most of the endoscopy directors cannot convince human resource leaders to pay the technicians for the skills that they bring. Because the guy will say, show me a certificate. Here is the certificate that you could show them. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we should change the concept from hiring, training, and trying to do the best to retain. That's not work for us. Instead, our goal should be work with institutions, community colleges, or with the society. Get them trained first so that they're ready to work. This venture was the product of so many people in Houston, Community College, and ASG, and I want to thank them. I want to take one more minute to dedicate this talk to my mentor, Dr. Karnadev Bharadhan. He taught me a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much, Raju. Uh, I think many of us anticipate this will have a direct impact on many of our units in the very near term and our ability to pay better and retain longer for our excellent staff.